Um, we're not a car company, therefore, so we really don't see Tesla as a driver uh, or as a, as a, as a competitor. Um, rather, we see Tesla and other car companies um, working primarily in this driver assist area. John, John, man, seriously, did you really just say what I think I heard? Tesla is not competition? Correct me if I'm wrong, isn't your entire thing Waymo's prime objective to create an autonomous driver? Now, our key technology is the driver. That's, that's the most important point. That's what we're here for. Right, so have you completely blanked out on all information about Tesla's full self-driving beta? Because let's be real here for a second, Tesla is doing the exact same thing that your company is doing. The only difference being that Tesla is doing it bigger, faster and cheaper. I'm not sure why I have to explain this to you because I know you're a fucking genius, I'm not even being sarcastic, but giving something a less flattering label doesn't change what it actually is. Trust me, John, when I say, just because there's a driver behind the wheel, what Tesla is developing is not a driver assistance system. If it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, it's probably an autonomous driver and at least worthy of being considered competition. According to you, at what point are we allowed to call it autonomous driving? Because Waymo itself used to have not one, but two people in every car ready to intervene if something went wrong. And that's exactly what Tesla is doing. They have someone in the car ready to intervene whenever necessary, while the car is learning and improving. The only meaningful difference is that Tesla has millions of cars on the road gathering data, while Waymo currently has less than 1,000. And while Tesla is gathering data from all over the planet, getting a complete picture, Waymo's cars are geofenced or limited to specific cities or parts of cities to reduce complexity. I probably use Waymo maybe 10% of the time. Uh, the biggest limiting factor is that it only goes in a certain defined area, mostly in Chandler and Tempe and maybe a little bit of Mesa. If it went all the way downtown, I would probably take it a whole lot more. There's a massive problem with that approach. Relying on geofencing and mapping simply means your autonomous car becomes more or less completely useless if and when those things are taken away. It's somewhat comparable to teaching someone how to drive but doing it all from the safe confines of a parking lot. Now they might become really, really good at driving around in a parking lot, but what do you think happens when you introduce more complexity? Exactly what you expect. Everything goes to shit. And here's another reason why John Kravchik is making zero fucking sense. Not only is Tesla a massive competitor with a giant lead in the race toward actual autonomous driving, they're also vertically integrated, meaning they have control of their entire product chain. Hardware, software, services, everything. And they already have the best profit margins in the entire auto industry. Waymo, on the other hand, only has their software. They have to team up with, rely on, and split their profits with various other automotive companies who are already struggling to keep their heads above water. Waymo will be the first to bleed market shares once prices start dropping because of increased competition. No way around it. And by the way, John, I just want you to keep in mind what happened the last 10 or so times so-called experts doubted Elon Musk. Everyone said that an online bank wouldn't work. It simply wasn't safe enough. Elon did it. And now everyone does it. Everyone said an electric car company wouldn't work. Elon did it. And now everyone does it. Everyone said there was no such thing as a reusable space rocket. Elon did it. And now everyone does it. And now people are saying Tesla won't solve autonomous driving. But they will. And they'll do it long before anyone else. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. It probably helps the channel grow. And if you want to see more content, you can even hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever there's something new. I also really appreciate your feedback. If there's anything I can do better, please let me know by leaving a comment below. Until next time, see you around.